What's going on everybody? Chuck back here with another video for Hogwarts Legacy. Last time we had to craft a special wand. We also witnessed uh we, we witnessed a good friend kill his own uncle out of pure anger. And uh Yeah, we're gonna report him for doing that. I promised I wouldn't report him, but nah, I had to report him. Cause he was in trouble. Killing his own uncle while a student. Bad juju. Anyways, uh, we uh, finished all four professors. So uh, let's let's do this. Victor Rookwood is dead. He confronted me as I left Ollivander's with the keeper's wand. I had to defend myself. Godric's heart. Are you all right? I know you're well able to defend yourself. I've seen it often enough. But Rookwood himself... He would have killed me once he found the repository, if not before. I had no choice. You're right. You had no choice. You did what you had to do. The wizarding community... Oh yeah, I forgot I killed him. Dead. Thank you for saying so, Professor. I'm ready for what's next. All right, then. The Keepers have been waiting. You have completed all of our trials, and you have done so under circumstances even I did not foresee. You understand now why all of this was necessary. The port key, the vault, the locket, the book. The trials. To ensure that one with the ability you and I share would make the same choice that San, Neve, Charles, and I did. Now that you have witnessed my memory, you understand all that is at stake. Not everyone is what they seem. Mm -hmm. As you know, light does not exist without shadow, nor shadow without light. Simply because you can eliminate darkness does not always mean that you should. Even the most well-meaning and competent amongst us cannot possibly know the consequences of manipulating what should be beyond our reach. What lies in the repository must never be released. Resist the temptation to destroy or control it. The magic that you have so carefully honed must now be used only to protect the secret we keep. You have the wand. You will know when to wield it. We leave our legacy in your hands. Oh. Okay, I didn't expect that. All right, let's go do it. We can only hope that we're not too late and that we find nothing but a repository undisturbed beyond this door. I guess we'll find out, All right, don't won't we? <laughs> I should hope that the enchantments protecting the castle from below. I fear they may not. Although, if they don't now, I can assure you, they will in the future. <coughs> Were you <coughs> Professor Weasley? <coughs> I was. Hopefully she and the others will arrive soon. They know where to find the door through which we entered. Uh-oh. Well, we gotta hurry. If his loyalists are here, he cannot be far away. You and I have faced the area. Somewhere. We must be getting the purpose. Renbrook will be pleased with our progress. Yes. 
on. Ranrock must be here somewhere. This drill stands between us and him. We need to move it. I shall handle it. One moment. Let's go. I mean, you could have also shrunk it, but, you know, what, it is what it is. Oh, here we go again. Oh, boy. Oh, not only one troll. Ouch. Ow, darn it. Gosh, darn it. What in the world is my character doing? Ouch. Some, uh, yeah. Ouch. Troll buggies. Professor, that wall, that's the way forward. Revelio, very perceptive, my young friend. Good friend. Uh, oh, there we go. It worked. Let's go. Oh, something's over here. Ah, free wigging weld. Ranrock must be getting closer to finding the repository. I think you're right, Professor. There's nothing, There's nothing we can do but keep searching. Lumos. Listen, more comments on it. Can bring the bus. Oh, it's the students. Ouch.
Oops, wrong one. Ah, there we go, finally. Wow, even the headmaster himself. The goblins have somehow evaded the castle's defensive charge. I think I like Professor Weaver the most. She, uh... The Weasleys have always been an interesting family. In the, uh, in the Harry Potter mythos. Okay, I don't know what happened there, game, but I wasn't trying to jump at my enemy. I was trying to, uh, you know, use my use my uh, abilities. Whoa! Ouch! Whoa, big troll. Now they're always big. <laughs> I wish it were that easy. Fit. And I'm not attacking the ones behind me because. Ah. Uh, fair enough. Oh, here we go. 
Oh boy, those two things. Oh boy, but I might have to fight those before I go in there. Yeah, I knew it. Oh boy, here we go again. And the fire is somehow still burning. Think of all now the enchanted pain fire. that created it. This is what Miriam, George, your friend Lodgok, and countless others died for. Miriam believed this forgotten magic could be used for such good. But she did not know the risks. She did not see what the Keepers have shown you. What Isadora showed you. You are now the Keeper of whatever power it holds. What do you intend to do with it? Um. I plan to leave the repository as it is. I'm pleased to hear that. I've been thinking. What is it, Professor? I spent all year trying to keep our journey a secret from everyone, including Professor Weasley. But now I wonder if I should have shared it with her and the others sooner. Trusted them more. The keepers wanted this secret to be locked away forever. How long will you keep it? I plan to keep it secret for now. But in time, when I am ready, I plan to tell those I trust everything and accept their help. I believe that is what Miriam would have wanted. We should trust in others. If anyone can rise to this challenge, my friend, it is you. And he's here. God. The arrogance of wizard kind. Goblins built this repository. It belongs to us. Enough, Ranrock. It was never yours. I've been wanting to play with this. Miriam's wand. If she'd simply handed over the oh. container, all of this could have been avoided. Foolish. Oh boy. Witch. Seems you were two of a kind. She didn't know when to give up either. Ah, oh, crap. Oh boy. He's empowered now. That's not good. It turned into a dragon? Oh, okay. No! Professor Fig!
We're supposed to fight him?
Come on. Okay. I don't have any more heals, so I'm a little bit, a little bit stuck. I got him. Don't tell me it's a second phase. I got him. I got him.
Professor Fig is alive. I liked him as a character. I cannot believe. Oh my goodness! He helped guide us, and now he's now he's gone. <coughs> professor Eleazar Fig. I dare say he was a beloved professor to many of you. Certainly a long-standing colleague to his peers. A famed adventurer and seeker of knowledge, he built a reputation. Charging into the unknown, brazenly disregarding both discretion and safety. Providing perhaps a rather unfortunate lesson for us all. His devotion to adventure was rivaled only by his dedication to Hogwarts. And of course, to his wife, Mary, uh, Midi, um, whom we lost much too soon as well. Um. <clears throat> yeah. <laughs> Professor Fig represented the best of all of us. Oh, he could be deviously clever, possessed a brilliantly inquisitive mind, and was the most loyal of friends. But perhaps it was his remarkable courage for which we will all be forever indebted to him. If not Naughty. to Professor Fig. Well, I can say with confidence that if not for him, many of us, let alone Hogwarts, would not be here today. Those that knew him best will agree that we must now honor him as only Hogwarts can by wisely, resourcefully, justly, and bravely facing all that lies ahead. <clears throat> to Professor Fig! That was a good toast. Please meet me as soon as possible. Never imagined we'd attend a funeral for one of our professors. <sighs> Glad Weasley spoke for Fig. She honored him. He'll be well remembered. I only wish we could have done the same for Solomon Sallow. I need to go and see Anne soon. Ominous, there's something I need to tell you. It's to do with Victor Rookwood. I heard a rumor that he confronted you outside of Ollivander's. Sounds as if you faced quite a fight. The rumor's true, and I did. But it's not that. 
Just before Rookwood attacked, he uttered something familiar. <coughs> the same words Anna had before she was cursed. Children should be seen and not heard. Wait, what are you saying? It wasn't one of Ranrock's loyalists who cursed Anne. It was Victor Rookwood. It was Rookwood all along. This... this can't be. The night Anne was cursed, all she saw were goblins. You see, since Feldcroft was of interest to Ranrock, it became of interest to Rookwood as well. That's why Rookwood was there the night Anne was cursed. He was working with Ranrock. <laughs> when he saw Anne, well, he didn't want anyone to know. So he cursed her. Oh, so cruel. Rookwood got what he deserved. Thank you for telling me. Anne and Sebastian deserve to know, and it should come from me. As we discussed, I spoke with Black. Sebastian's with the headmaster now, but perhaps there's a way to get word to him. When I find out, I'll send an owl. Hmm. I thought... But to say, that can't be the Whomping Willow. It's in the wrong area. Springtime at Hogwarts. Well, that was very eventful to say the least. Ah. So 14 main quests. Wow. Hmm. Well, I guess I should uh, head over to see what Natty wants. Alright. And I will return as soon as I get over there. See you there. I have new we are actually going to the Undercroft real quick because actually uh, Ominous said that he had news of Sebastian, so I want to hear what uh, what happens to Sebastian. He might end up getting expelled. Thank you for coming. Ominous, I received your owl. What's happened with Sebastian? He's been expelled. Oh. He will soon face trial at the Ministry. Oh. Though Anne wanted to turn him in, I think now she's torn. I confess I know how she feels. As much as we all wanted Sebastian to face the consequences of his actions, it will never be the same without him. Just standing here in the Undercroft without Sebastian feels wrong. I never thought things would end this way. I hope we did the right thing. I hope so, too. Were you able to tell Sebastian about Rookwood cursing Anne? I was. Black let me talk to Sebastian before he left. At first, he wouldn't believe it. Then he realized it all made sense. Unfortunately, his anger only grew towards goblins and dark wizards. <sighs> Anne was shocked, too, but in some sense relieved to know the truth about who was responsible. I think it brought her some peace. I'm glad to hear it. She deserves peace. She does. Sebastian, my best friend. I can't imagine Hogwarts or anywhere without him. I know you two had grown close, that you were helping each other with more than just finding a cure for Anne. He never gave specifics, but I know it was important. He meant, means, a lot to us both. I hope we get the chance to tell him that one day. I know we had a bit of a rocky start, but you've proven yourself as a friend. I'm glad you came to Hogwarts. And that's that. All right, I'm going to head over to Natty now. Are you ready to finish Harlow? Yes. I'm ready to finish Harlow once and for all. I received an owl from Mrs. Bickle. She wondered if we were having any luck going after Harlow. Suggested we could gather evidence from a friend near Manor Cape. But she warned us to stay out of it. Was rather adamant about it. Precisely. Harlow knows that we saved Archie. And that we rescued Mr. Rabe. 
The letter didn't come from Mrs. Bickle. I do not believe it did. But now we have the... We are stronger than Harlow, and he knows... Agreed. Brilliant. Yeah. Harlow's reign ends today. Perhaps we ought to inform Officer Singer of our plans. I already sent her an hour to let her know that we were following a lead given to us by Mrs. Bickle. Are you concerned she might tell you more? Indeed she will, but so be it. I am tired of hiding it from her. My mother needs to understand that I will not be safe from the Ashbinders until everyone is. I sue them until they are finished, and I think she Where knows is that. He? As do you. That was easy. Exposal! Little Nat Sionai, innit? And her excruciatingly loyal companion. You two have done quite a bit of damage to my business interests. <laughs> but... I must gradually give you some credit. What was once a mere annoyance has become remarkably problematic. Mm -hmm. Fortunately, I pride myself on my problem-solving skills. Hmm. Well, here we go. We're going to fight him now. And you are defeated, sir.
Uh oh. What happened, on my, what happened on my trench coat? But, oh boy, that's not good. Natty got hit with Crucio Cur Cruciatus Curse. <sighs> are you sure you are up for a visitor? Yes, Mother. I feel fine, and it will do me good to see my friend. Very well, but do not overdo it, Natsai. I know, Mother. <laughs> Can I talk to her, or is the game broken? <sighs> it is good to see you, my friend. I'm glad to see you're doing so well. I am doing better than it appears. I am only here because my mother insisted just to be safe. I was relieved when she told me that you were all right. Only because of you. Well, I've had better days, but Nurse Blaney says that I am on the mend. What? No. The moment that I saw Harlow aim his wand at you, well... You quickly made the choice to... I did what I had to, and I would do it again. I could not simply stand there and let you get hurt. Then I shouldn't feel guilty. Of course not. There was nothing that you... Oh. Oh my. I cannot believe that it took me this long to see it. He made a choice. Based on instinct, my father, you, my friend, are no more to blame for my injuries today than I am to blame for my father's sacrifice years ago. From what I know of him, it seems there's a lot of your father in you. That's very kind of you to say. Hmm. I hope that you are right. This has all been a bit much, hasn't it? A battle here at Hogwarts. Everything we have done to take down Harlow and the rest of Rookwood's lot. But we have done it. Rookwood is dead, Harlow is on his way to Azkaban, and the rest of them are on the run. A few of the dregs will still be about, <sighs> fighting for their lost cause. But Rookwood's enterprise has fallen apart. Everything is safer because of us. Because of you. Thank you, but we make a formidable team. You, my fellow traveler, have enriched my time at Hogwarts beyond anything I could have imagined. Thank you. I believe your friendship to be one of the most important in my life. <laughs> Thank you for coming to visit me. I like Nanny. It is always good to see you. Revelio. Hello, Hamora. Alright, we'll go, go visit Professor Weasley. Because I think I have a quest with her. Professor Weasley? You wanted to see me? I did. We haven't had a chance to speak since... I know you were quite close with Professor Fig. Hogwarts won't be the same without him. No, it won't. But I can assure you that he would want us to press on. And that he would rest easy knowing that the future of the wizarding world is in hands like yours. Thank you, Professor. You've had quite a year, both inside and outside of Hogwarts. I've heard all sorts of rumors. You've ridden a graphorn, befriended a goblin, rescued hippogriffs, even somehow ingratiated yourself with the headless hunt. <laughs> How did you... It's harder to keep secrets around here than one might suspect. I'm just glad you found such a good friend in Miss Sweeting. It's nice to see her engaging more with her classmates. There have evidently been snidget sightings in the area lately. If the centaurs are to be believed, two Hogwarts students are behind it. Uh, I'm certain I don't know what... No need to discuss it further. What I would like to discuss is your wizard's field guide. May I see it? Of course. 
Hmm. Oh. What do you think, Professor? I think you've been busy this year. It seems you've completed much of your field guide. Well done. But you've still a little left to do. Fortunately, you do have some time to prepare for your OWLs. I will confess, I had a sense about you from that first moment you came bursting in, late, to the sorting ceremony. I am pleased to see that my instincts were correct. To think you've only been with us a year and you'll already be taking your OWLs, well, it's nothing short of astonishing. Thank you, Professor, for everything. You are most welcome. I look forward to seeing what you do during the rest of your time with us. Hmm. So she knew what we were doing all year round, I figured. End of the year feast? Sure. See, this game is, is exactly how a Harry Potter-esque game should be done. Wizarding World. friends I've made. <sighs> this year we have seen our students exemplify the bravery of Godric Gryffindor. Yeah! And now we can finish the loyalty of Helga Hufflepuff. Yeah! The wisdom Rowena Ravenclaw. Hey, hey. And the ambition of Salazar Slytherin. And so, the winner of this year's House Cup. Excuse me, Headmaster, if I may. One particular student's heroism during the attack on Hogwarts. Not to That's me. the level to which they have excelled in their coursework as a new student, no less. Well, it would seem that it certainly merits, hmm, I'd say, 100 points to their house. Wouldn't you agree? Ah, yes. Thank you, Professor Weasley. I suppose we have our winner! Gryffindor. Thank you so much to the developers of this game. Thank you. This is exactly what a Harry Potter Wizarding World-esque game should be. This is what it always needed to be. This game did it perfectly. And I hope, 
hope we get a sequel and due to the success of this game and how much money it made that company or sorry the development team in its company I, I can almost guarantee there's going to be a sequel but thank you again to the developers and I thank all my viewers for watching and I will see you with whatever the next video game series I'm going to do I hope you liked it I hope I earned your subscription if not smash that subscription button uh, check out my discord in the discord in the uh, almost said description sorry check out my discord server down in the comments below and I will see you all later I bid you good day